to uh, Bransford. <laughs> Labrax day seven. Uh, 11 o'clock tee off for the skipper. Roy just uh, coming to watch the captain's drive. Dave Taylor. Nice to see him out again. There's the skipper, relaxed. He's had a smoke. He's got his glove. He's smiling. It's uh, Skewy and Dubbers there just making their way to the tee and uh, current third place on the Leeboard Shakers looking to maybe make a move here today. Just caught Chopper there, just uh, been on the putting surface for a good half hour, getting the weight and nicely Tony Eagle uh, arriving once again. Chairman uh, Roger Millington and uh, current Bandit uh, Guest of the Year Colin Kerfoot. Splendidly attired as always, Kerf. Good morning. Good morning. Who's, uh, who's the official measurer then? You are. There he is. Well, that's all fake. You've already put down how far you think you're going to drive. Don't try it. Tee it up a yard behind the marker, mate. And they're just at 11 o'clock. Uh, the skipper's drive. We're going to be measuring. As uh, Edward Sebastian Ludwig Hewitt limbers up. Good luck, Ed. Rhythm and tempo being called by uh, Big Rich Elliot over there. You put the water out of your mind. <laughs> You've only got to yeah. think about the water, Ed. Glad Rags, really not helping that is. There's a lot of early footage, a lot of early chirp. He's aiming just a little down the left. No! He's come inside oh, and out it down the middle. Oh, it's happy days. And there we go. That looks like some happy glad. Uh, well, welcome back, viewers. Uh, you join us here, Group One, Player Two, Rich Elliott. He's uh, been getting ready for the shot for about three minutes now, but we join him now, ready to uh, ready to hit. He's got a rescue. Apologies if you can hear kitchen in the background. There's rhythm, tempo. It's a great strides, lovely, nice little ballet move at the end. That's nice. <laughs> and finally, popular crowd favourite, Lee Strike Award. He's got his old mashie out there. Just watch the rhythm of this swing. Just watch the rhythm. A lot, lot to be learned from this for all you younger players out there. All you younger players, though, uh, don't look at his shoes. They could be a little bit cleaner. Let's just watch the rhythm. And there it is, he just caught it a little bit fat, but he's away. And safe. Happy glad racking. Well, welcome viewers to the uh, second hole here at Bransford. Lucky enough to catch up with uh, Group 7. Kitch, Weston, Joe 90. Part of uh, Joe's routine is to have a little moan. <laughs> this one just breaks right to left. Lovely smooth strokes on its way. It's night, it's breaking. Has it got there? Oh, that's a super effort from Joe. All covered, all covered off, Joe. He's just going to mark that up. <laughs> Joins with the Jumbo, Jumbo Western. Same right to left. He's, he's, he should have gone outside of the kitch marker and look at it go, look at it go. It's not finished yet, he wants to get up there and mark it. And uh, Kitch, known for his putting. Lovely smooth technique, goes around the belly, could be illegal in 2016. It's on its way. Does he give it? Oh, he hasn't. Well, there's three missed putts. We can see the third just clearing. Catch you later. Happy glad ranking. Just uh, looking back at the picturesque 16th, Fatty Lewis, duffed it in, but has dialed that one in to about 25 feet. Joe Hiram, splendid in turquoise, 
just got to negotiate the river pond even oh just pushed it a little cameras sometimes do that to the glad rags Timmy dial one in early you can just see it there 10 foot away happy glad ragging here at Bransford we'll see you later well, here we are at the 17th coral oaks at Bransford peculiar hole as you can see glad rags bit of a dog leg it's a great pleasure to uh, introduce Stuart Fox Mills, ex Glad Rag. Nine years since his last appearance, proudly wearing the uh, 2004 Dublin Tour shirt. Just playing back towards the hills. Stuart out of Colwall originally. Now Barnet, North London. Does strike a nice ball. Just turned his hands over a little bit there, struck it nicely looking. So in the trees would probably play. Probably play. And we move on to our old favourite old digger. Got off to a stinker earlier. We think we've wrestled it back to maybe nudging about 90 points as a team. Let's see where he's got. the old digger drag it's carved it up the left looks like they're gonna leave it to me happy glad ragging my money out. 18th hole here the money is split between uh, shakers and uh, and dubbers I'm going wet I'm going wet he said in case you can't see the slender figure of uh, Jeremy there you'll recognize it by the ping his uh, club makes a unique sound. Nice striker of the ball, nice and relaxed. He's nailed that one, it's down the middle. She's away, that's good. Bunker maybe. It's there somewhere. Great shot from Skewy. That's another beer. Oh yeah, it's another beer you owe me shaking. And the driver himself. There we are, that double smiling now. Two beers to the good against Shakers. He's just going to lay it up there. You said there was some money on, you said you wouldn't be able to make it. There's two beers there coming my way. Shaker's still with the Ombersley Mully Grubs. There we go. Happy glad ragging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here we are on the uh, Captain's Day 2015 uh, up on the veranda, Bransford. <laughs> Beautiful, oh, there's some bants, lols, a bit of Bantosaurus Rex going on. Beautiful, beautiful. It's been an enjoyable day. Bransford. Delightful. Should have been here, boys. Happy glad ragging. Just for completeness, viewers, it's the. Uh, you've seen the young, vibrant section of the glad rags outside enjoying the sunshine. Here we are in uh, Camel's Corner and the old farts. But they're, but they're, but they're happy. <laughs> Two mystery. Happy oh, glad ragging. Yeah. Ah. Here we are, Bransford 2015, Captain's Day. There it is, it's the tankard. There's the skipper. We zoom in, there's some big names on there. Look at that. Look at those names. Who is going to add themselves to that motley crew? We'll find out in just a little while. Catch you later. Just a quick sweep of the prize booty. There it is. All willing to see who can win the Skipper's Cup. Come on, Tom. Put it away, please. Sorry. No, no glad ragging. Yeah. Cool. Rich Elliott. Join us later. Hope we can catch it. I can't see with With 36, Colin Kerper and today's guest winner. Speed it up, Eddie. So, what are we left? We're left with uh, three.
Speed it up. Paul Doubly, Darren Hanley, and Ben Gordon. Stubbs, you can sit down with 36. Sorry, are they both in the same group? We're left with uh, with two in group four with over 40 points apiece. Oh, yeah, man. No wonder I won the team. One, one who I think is, is, is played pretty well against the score, and one who's just made a mockery of it. So, with. Uh, 41 points, Darren Handy. Congratulations on your second, Darren. Well done, Darren. However, look for the embarrassment on the face. He left this four or five shots out there. It's ridiculous. Four or five shots out there. So 23 so handy So with 49 points. Oh, uh, 49 today points. It's Mr. Ben Gordon. There it is. We didn't know who was going to get it. We didn't know who was going to get it. But there it is. It's the crystal jug. Sure, it'll be filling it. We can't quite see it. Gaunty. 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 Obviously, the bandit shoes. That's easy, Ed. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who should have these. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas? Mr. Gore, take it 